Hey Leos, Danny Moon here. Suck this Palo Santo up. Hey Leos, I'm here for your bonus reading. I just asked Spirit to come in and to send me the energy of the Leos. You know, I'm trying to get my phone together, y'all. Trying to get you don't want to be looking all the way down there, right? <laughs> Just trying to get this phone together. Um, I must tell you that I I'm thinking this might be a love reading. The first thing that came to my head was um love spell and love sick. So who knows? <laughs> uh you know I'm gonna use my two favorite decks which are I'm gonna use a lot of my decks okay we're gonna start off with the right away um Danny Moon here y'all aka Karen pole girl whatever you want to call me as long as it's respectful spirit can you please come in and give Leo their bonus reading let them know something about their money career life purpose anything you want them to hear Spirit, please come in and give them accurate messages. In Jesus' name, amen. So mote be. Here we go, y'all. Spirit, can you tell Leo something, please? Something extra from whatever their last reading was about, last night's reading. Can we give them a little bit more, a little bit more insight? Thank you, Spirit. And you know what? I don't know if... Spirit, can I get some more, please? No. I think that... Thank you, Spirit. I think that was Virgo. So, I'm just gonna... Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. I love it. You know, Spirit never leaves me, y'all. All day I had y'all, you, Leos, and Virgos on my mind all this morning. And I'm going to be, what did I do? It was Leos. Um, I'm doing Leos now. This is Leos bonus. I may say Virgo a couple of times only because y'all two I did last night. And I have to do both of y'all bonus reading. Um, and I'm seeing some similar cards right now flying out. Um, and Spirit has been with me all morning. I mean, all morning. Don't worry about my dirty shirt, okay? I'm dirty all over. It's okay. Um, we're here for the messages. Here for the messages. Boom. Spirit, can I get some more? What's at the bottom of the deck? You holding on to your money? You saving your money? This is good. I feel like somebody is saving up for something. It could be an engagement ring. I don't know, but I do feel that the Leo, somebody's in love out there. Very in love. And you're saving your money. Don't hoard, though. This card means um, we could be hoarders. And I'm not a Leo, but I say we because I am a hoarder. <laughs> Here we go, Spirit. Can I give some more for the Leos, please? Can I get some more for the Leos? Actually, can I get one more and then their challenge? Let's see what's their challenge. What is challenging them? Can I get two cards? One upright and one challenge. Please, Spirit. I got the lovers in my head. I'm thinking this might be a love reading, y'all. <laughs> Can I get something, please, Spirit? Can I get one upright? One upright. Thank you, Spirit. And it came out upright. Very good. Thank you, Spirit. Now, can you tell me what their challenge is, Spirit? Let me know what the Leos are dealing with, what their challenge might be. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Spirit. Can I get their challenge? Thank you, Spirit. Too many, Spirit. 
Can I please get the challenge of the Leos? What is bothering them? What is their challenge? What is what is their obstacle in front of them, Spirit? Please, can you let me know something? What's going on with the energy of the Leos, y'all? Is anybody upset out there over something? Spirit, can you come in and give me what their challenge might be? Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, hangman. Spirit is talking to y'all. Spirit is talking to y'all loud and clear. Stop hanging around. Stop doing the same thing. Spirit, can I get some more, please? Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Good, good, good spread, y'all. Good spread. Good spread so far. Can I get some more, um, Spirit, please? Can I get some more about the Leos? Two, four, six, eight. Four more. Can I get four more cards, Spirit? Four more cards. Thank you. Wow. Can I get three more? Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, that came out. That came out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Spirit. Always, always with me. Always giving me. Always here. Spirit is with everybody, y'all. I just, I feel Spirit's presence so heavily that it's just amazing. It's amazing that Spirit uses me as a vessel. I'm, I'm so appreciative, you know. Bottom of the deck, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. One more, bottom of the deck, 7 of Pentacles. You're watching your harvest, which could be your money, your investments, um, anything that you're doing, mostly your money. You're watching it grow. I'm not too sure if you're satisfied with it. I think you want it to be a little bit better. And I think you want it to be to come a little faster in whatever work you do, whatever job you do. Um, but spirit is saying you're going to have to have patience. This is temperance in reverse. No good, y'all. Okay. But overall, you have a good spread. Um, so let's get to the first card. Your first card is six of six of cups this is nostalgia this is um the past coming back in your mind or the past coming back in in your real true life you know this could be an ex coming back um something that feels good and feels you know like homey like you know when you think about memories like back in the day like oh i wish the only advice i give you and that spirit gives you is don't get stuck in the past don't get stuck there. You know, think about the present and what you have now and move forward, okay? Um, what's clarifying that is the world, is the world card. So this is a new cycle. Whenever you get out of daydreaming about the past, um, you are going to step through a new cycle. Or this could be somebody coming back into your life and you're going to be together and step through a new cycle to a new cycle together, Um if you don't get out of whatever you're thinking about or dwelling on or you or you wish it was like something, you won't get to the world. Spirit is saying your next cycle is here. And what's clarifying the world is the Ten of Wands. Spirit wants you to put these down. Now, this is not a good card, but in all actuality, you are at a 10. So Spirit is saying you are ready to put these burdens down so that you can get to your new cycle with whatever this is. Okay? These burdens could be from these burdens can be from the past. Spirit is saying put this down, forget about this and move forward. You have you have uh, opportunities coming. 
you definitely have opportunities coming. And the reason I say that is because your next card is Seven of Cups. You have choices, options, opportunity. Leo, jump on all of this. The only thing is slow down. We already see that you don't have patience. So I don't want you to pick the wrong cup. Spirit is saying like you will have opportunity. As soon as you get through this cycle, which will probably the, be the new year, January, you will have different options. And I'm trying to figure out if that is different options in love or money. But only you know your story. Okay, spirit is coming in with greatness, happiness. I didn't even get to this part, but you got the sun card. Like things are gonna be great if you pick the right choice. So I feel like this has been a long road for you guys, a long struggling road. And I feel like you're ready. Spirit feels like you're ready for this opportunity, but I feel like several different things is gonna catch you off guard. Spirit says, step back, write it down, weigh your pros and cons, know what is going to benefit you. And I actually said this to another sign, maybe cancers, I'm not really sure. If you just look on my channel, I said the same thing to another, to another group and maybe that other group could be your spouse. It could be somebody you know. Because remember, energy is fluid, y'all. So this could be your energy. This could be the people around you energy. You could be cross-washing. Maybe you're with a Leo. Um, this could be 30 days in the past. Maybe that's why you have this nostalgia card. Something happened. Someone you know in the past is coming back or trying to come back. And, and you have now options of different people or a job is coming back. Something that you had in the past. Spirit is saying the option is going to be there. Whatever obstacle you, you, whatever obstacle was there, which is these ten of wands, put them down. And Spirit is saying you're about to put them down. You're at the 10. You're, you're putting them down. You're going through the world. You're going through the world. You're going. Again, y'all, I'm trying to get the. I need to. Spirit says there is a new cycle ahead of you. And it is prosperous. Spirit is giving you. Spirit, the universe, God, your God is giving you options and opportunities. But spirit feels like you are impatient. And because of the impatient thing, you might pick the wrong choice or the wrong opportunity that will not benefit you. This is why I'm here telling you, spirit is telling you, please slow down, weigh your options, know exactly what you need, not what you want, what you need to move forward, okay? Know what is going to benefit your life. Your next card that you got after the Seven of Cups is the Tower in Reverse. What Spirit is saying here is that every, this is a human thing, y'all. We are all living a routine life. We get up, we cook, we go to work, we come back, we do for our kids, we do the same thing over and over. Spirit is saying when you get these options and opportunities when you step through this world, this new world, this new cycle you're going to be in, you're going to have to shake things up, pick something that is different. If you want to see growth within you or your path or your job or your relationship, you can't do the same or old thing. You can't keep relying on the same miracles, the same, uh, how do you say it? the same recipe. Spirit has more for you, but you have to have more for yourself. You have to have higher goals. You have to reach higher. You have to dream bigger. And that what that is what the tower means. Shake it up. This tower is in again y'all. This tower when it is upright means something devastating, big changes are coming your way. When it is in reverse, you are just delaying the process. And how are you delaying it? You're contemplating it. You're worried about whatever these burdens are. You're too busy thinking about what was, what you still, what you should have, what you could have. Spirit is saying, shake it up, 
so that the tower can come. The tower is from the universe. It's from God. No one's going to die. There's just going to be changes. And with these opportunities and these choices comes changes. But until you get this upright, you're just going to be stagnant and it's going to be a delay. That is not going to help your progress. So what is clarifying the tower is the woe it's me card. So you have this in reverse means delays. And the reason you're on delays and you're not shaking nothing up is because you're too busy dreaming about the past. These two cards should go together. Yes, most of the time, nostalgia card, six of cups is a really good card. There's nothing wrong about thinking about the past. But here, when you got this card, means you're stuck in the past. You're stuck thinking like, how could I messed up? How could I have lost that? How could I have lost her or him? How can I get it back? Oh my God, Spirit is saying you got opportunities right here. You got another job, a different um, person in your life. This is communication. This is clarity. But you don't know it because you're too busy crying. Please, I hate when we when people get this card. And when I pull for myself, I get this card too. Because I do the same thing. But I know how to get myself right up out of that. Because when I get out, out of it and I look around, I just bought bread. I bought sausages. I got a roof. I got a computer. Look and be grateful for what you got and keep turning around to see what you can go forward and get what's ahead of you no good your challenge your challenge is the queen and i put it like this because this is how it came out because i did ask what is your challenge and it came out like this is the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is very when it's upright queen of pentacles she's good with her money she's stable her house is good her apartment is good her bills are good everything she ain't rich even though she's the queen she's rich in life she's rich internally because she's stable and she's good she knows her family's good so that gives her a a, a stable mind when it comes here that means you uh, 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 you rocky you worried you got a little bit of anxiety going on spirit is saying what is this about spirit is like you know why spirit is asking what is this about and spirit knows but spirit is asking you to ask yourself why am i like this is it because of these burdens is it because of these six of cups is it because you have too many choices and you scared you don't know which one to pick? Is it because you scared to step to a new cycle come January? This means you know that a new cycle is coming for you. Spirit is like, Spirit is telling you, this Queen of Pentacles has to do with your money, with your home life, and your material wealth. So this means that you are worried about something. You are worried about your money. You are worried about your home life. You are worried, period. You have anxiety, period. Or you going back and forth. One minute you good, one minute you not. One minute you good, one minute you not. And the reason is, is because you want to stand still. Because you crying. You worried. You in your head. You thinking about what you had. Spirit wants you to move on. There are cards in a deck where spirit will tell you, fuck it, excuse my language, but spirit will tell you, this is no good. Spirit is literally coming in here, using me as a vessel to tell you that you have opportunities coming to you and you already know this. Spirit is telling me January, you're going to have like a brand new life, a brand new start, I should say, not a new life, but a new start, you know, and spirit is like, what's your problem? Get up out of your own head. Get up out of your own emotions. Like, stop thinking everything has to be this way or this one way. Like, no, it doesn't have to be this one way if spirit, if spirit, the universe, and God is giving you plenty of options, plenty of things to shake it up, plenty of things to move forward with. If you stagnant and stuck, Leos, that's because you want to be stagnant and stuck. And I don't mean... 
I really don't mean to come off like this, but that's the energy I'm getting from spirit. The energy of fed up, like the energy of like, how many chances can we give you? How many times can we talk to you? Didn't I tell you that you had um, on the bottom of the deck? You had the hangman. So spirit has came to you and enlightened you. And because y'all have spiritual gifts, everybody in this world has spiritual gifts. Excuse me, let me get some water. Excuse my junky house, y'all, but you know Christmas wrapping gifts, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to harp on this, y'all. Spirit is saying that is your challenge. Like, get up out of yourself is your challenge. Your challenge is you, okay? And it could be in your money area, career area. Um, it could even be in your relationship area. I think you're a little confused about a lot of things in your life, Leos. And Spirit says you know what to do. You know the steps to take. But you're fearful, which is human. That's cool. But you come to this channel, you watch this whole thing in duration. Spirit said you are divinely guided. There's no reason for you to be fearful in any sort of way. Because you know what came after that card? After that Queen of Pentacles, your challenge? The sun. So Spirit is telling me that you are going to decide to make the right choices. You are going to move forward. You are going to pick the right opportunities, the right choices. Keep moving. This is all, this is right here. It's in, it's right at your grasp. It's right at your grasp. It's right in front of you. Listen to what spirit is telling you. Your next card was a leap of faith. The fool. Spirit is saying, like, once you get this and you know you get it right, you're going to be happy. Then you're going to start taking leaps of faith. Leaps of faith in different areas in your life, in your home, in your job. You might even go and try to move up in a position or get a new job. Like, you're going to say, nothing is scaring me. You are going to, you are, I, now, this is like abundant to me. This is abundant. But, Spirit is saying, be patient. And be balanced. You see how she's one foot in the water, one foot on land? You got to be balanced. When it's like this, that means right now. That's only because you holding on to them burdens and that nostalgia thinking about the past. But Spirit says, in a minute, you about to be abundant. None of us is going to be rich, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and we might. you We might hit the lotto. We might. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't say that. We might. You know, but if we live in this 3D daily life and we working and we working hard for our money and to keep our spouses happy and keep our spouses and keep our relationship good, you're going to have to have patience and communication. You're going to have to have balance in your life. You're going to have to get your mind stable. It's not like this. Okay, your next card was justice. Justice. This is mean. This means court cases, legal documents, anything that has to do with court. This means balance. This means everything is going to turn out just fair in your life. Just and fair in your life. You have nothing to worry about or would it came out reverse. Okay. Wow. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Cups, this is about your relationship or is this about the love of your job? You know, she is all about love. She is all about love and passion and loving the people around her and loving what she does. Okay, under that, look what Spirit is giving you. Okay, Ace of Wands, something passionate is going to be in your life. Something passionate. Maybe you feel passionate about something. Spirit is saying go for it. But listen to the call. Spirit is calling you. Spirit has been calling you. You can hear it. You know you hear. You know your higher mind. You know your intuition is saying go over there. Go for that. Do that. Go communicate. For some reason right now you're not doing it. And this is why. Didn't I tell you fear? The moon is all about hidden truths. The moon is about fear. The moon is about mystery. The moon is about I don't know what's behind it. So I ain't going behind it. I'm Danny Moon. If you came here, you could go past the moon. You could see the moon is also about miracles. Okay? Mystery, miracles. 
deceit, deception. Watch that. Watch out for your crowd and who you are around and who you talk to. Okay, watch out. This is the, this is no good right here. This is actually, sorry y'all, this is deception and betrayal too. This is five of swords. This is actually deception and betrayal on yourself. Because spirit is saying if you get into any conflicts or any type of arguments and you win the battle, good for you. Kudos to you. But who you hurting? You see those people? Those are your friends. They fought with you. They fought for you. Who you hurting just to win? Who are you hurting just to win? You had an argument with your mama. You had an argument with your spouse. And you're like, yeah, yeah. But did you hurt your spouse in the, in the process? Did you hurt the kids or somebody around, your friends around in the process just so you could feel like a winner? Nah, man. That ain't cool. You had the Ten of Wands. Now you got the Ten of Swords. There's a cycle up for you, y'all. Cycle is up. That was excellent. That was excellent. That was an excellent reading. Let me give you, a, you know, my phone cuts off at 33 minutes. I'm up to 26. Let me give you a psychic spirit. Can you please come back in and give the Leos a psychic tarot card, please? Spirit, can you please come in and give them a psychic tarot card? Something that they can know for their overall energy. Their over. Thank you, spirit. wisdom spirit is trying to give you wisdom right now once you put those ten of wands down and what or like all those burdens and now that you have the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck the cycle is going to happen regardless but what i'm trying to tell you is that you are going to walk through that cycle wiser stronger spiritually stronger but you have to listen you really do. You are going to triumph on this. Whatever you're going through, whatever you are holding on or whatever decisions that are really weighing on you, Spirit said you're going to come up, come out of this triumphly. You are going to win this. This is the victory card. This is like the six of wands. All right. So Spirit says, stop being, don't be scared. Don't be scared. You know, we all blessed here that comes to this channel, y'all. Some people... Spirit, the universe, and God watches over everybody. Let me not say that. They watch over everybody. But when you are, when, when spirit has a microscope on you and sends angels to you to protect you and to guide you, there's nothing to worry about. You have to believe. You have to meditate. You have to go within so you can feel it. That's how I do. I feel when I meditate. Or when I ask spirit to come in, I feel a presence here. I feel energy here. That's how we're getting this message to you. 